Coming to you live from Southern California, we've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels. Ready to go? Today's starting pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Bounce to the right side. Velasquez picks it up. One up, one down. Now batting Wander Franco. Wander Franco. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground right side. The throw to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. That in third. The third Two out. Space is empty. Yandy Yandy. Diaz now. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. One, two now. That's to third. Fires over to first. Third out. We go to the bottom of the first. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The pitch. One and one. That one the other way. Base hit into right field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Batting third. The designated hitter. Max Stassi comes up to hit. First offering, and it just misses. There's a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. No outs. Runners at first and second. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him. And that's the first out. 
Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. That is cool. The third baseman, Anthony Rendon. In the air, right field. Loud under this one. Two down. So first and second with two outs. Jared Walsh digs in now. That one ripped. Can't get their base hit. Here comes the runner. One run scores. Here comes another. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here at Angel Stadium, and now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Leading off for Tampa Bay. And here it comes. G-Man Choi. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Wait, on the move. Balls it in, and there's one away. Here's Manuel Margot. The second baseman. Manuel Margot. One down, base is empty. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. So Margot is aboard. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Kevin Kiermeyer takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Now it's Randy Arozarena. The left fielder, Randy In there, and it's 0-1. Margot off of first with two away. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. The Rays strand just the one. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. And now the right fielder. And leading up for the Angels. The wind of the pitch. Jeff Mayfield. And that chance handled. Over to first. And quickly one away in the second. Batting seven. Now batting Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Line drive, snags it for the second out. Now at the plate, Luis Rangifo. A switch hitter batting right. Next pitch has popped up. Choi, as this one sized up, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Angels held in check, but they still lead it 1 0. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning, and now the center fielder, Brett Phillips. That's a strike, and that is strike one.
Owen oh, two now. Got him. And there's one down. And now the catcher for the Rays, Mike That's Zunino. Enough. Good, Good defender. He's been Mike. inconsistent offensively. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Lau at the plate. The right fielder, number eight, Brandon Lau. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch inside and one and one. Kicks and fires. Bounce to third. Rendon collects. Sends it across to first. Lau out on the play. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Andrew Velasquez. McClanahan back to work. On the ground. Choi takes it to the bag. Lead off man retired here in the third. Now batting. Brandon Catcher. Marsh, the next Brandon. to hit for the Angels. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Swings through that one, 0 and 1. A pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. 0 and 2 as he waves at that one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. High in the air, out to right. Lau moving under this one. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Mike Trout, and he's already singled in this game. Rips that one to right and makes the grab, and that'll do it. Angels go down one, two. Back in Anaheim, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Wander Franco. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Foul ball. And the 2 stays alive. Going two now. Chopper right side. Grabs it barehanded. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. First pitch, and he just misses. Next one off the plate inside. Now 2-0. Next offering is fouled back. The 2 1. Fouled off down the right side.
Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, G Man Choi. He's 0 for 1. First pitch just misses. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. G-Man Choi bops one out of here. And we're level. It's 1-1. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the second baseman, the Manuel Margot. Second baseman, Manuel Margot. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the air, left side. Wait, settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at 1-1. I've been working that stage to the sun out. Your boy up. Time to lace my boots and show up. And if you still can't. Back here at Angel Stadium, ready to go, bottom four. And so in now for the Angels, Max Stassi. The, the wide to kick the pitch. Stassi. He was late there, strike one. Swing and a miss. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Pulls up and it drops for a hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind. The One down. Play goes to first now, but he's back in. Up next Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena racing over to make the catch. Now it's the right fielder, Jack Mayfield. Grounded out his first time. Mayfield. And a pop up right side foul territory. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Angels leave. And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Kevin Kiermeyer. The designated hitter, Kevin The right hander back to work. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The pitch. Ball two. That ball one misses, and that's ball three. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. A Rosarena batting for the second time, and that's strike one. 
Kiermaier aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. Now one away. And stepping in for the Rays, Brett Phillips. And that's in there for strike one. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Next offering is in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the catch, and there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got yeah, underneath man. it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Mike, Mike Zanino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Pretty good job on the mound, and this one's. That's in there. That is strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Got him looking. And that is that. Bottom of the inning. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder. The wind of the pitch. The other way. And a base hit. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Second baseman, Luis Rangifo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is fouled back. In the air, out towards left center. Phillips pulls that one down, and there's one away. And next for the Angels, the Andrew Velasquez. Shortstop, Andrew Velasquez. On a line, base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Marsh swings through it for strike one. In the air, left field. A Rosarena pulls it down. Runner tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly. It's 2-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Up the middle. On to Franco. Out number three. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the. Leading off for Tampa Bay, the right fielder, 
Brandon Lau. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Shohei Otani. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. One and oh. Otani, he's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations. Those high leverage spots, it seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate. And they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Franco at the plate now, and that's inside. Next offering is fouled back. The mental approach is a big factor too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. The pitch. Got him! And one gone. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time, you know. Once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. To short, could be two. Tosses to first, and he's out. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up, and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive, and that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now the DH. And just hacking like you used to. Yeah, kind of same, just like that, yeah. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Phillips makes the grab, one pitch and one out. The third baseman. Number now it's six. Anthony Rendon. That's a laser base hit. One gone runner at first. And next for L.A., Jared Walsh. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena puts it away. Two away. Now batting, right fielder. Jack Mayfield, the next to hit for the Angels. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. At the belt and fires. On the ground to the left. Zanino on the first. And that is that. Strand one, but they still lead it two to one.
Back in Anaheim, top of inning number seven. Here's the second baseman, Manuel Margot. And a foul ball. The tying run at the plate. Swings through that. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Swings through that one. 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Stays alive. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Two up, two down. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Next for Tampa Bay. The left fielder. Randy Rosarena. In there, and it's 0-1. And now the count is even. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. The big righty strike. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Brooks Raley. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Wait, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. One up, one down. Up Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Next pitch is popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. Andrew Velasquez, the next to hit for the Angels. That one fouled off. Out to center. Phillips on the move. Makes the catch in and over. Angels go quietly there. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Harold Ramirez. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. And fouled off. And a swing and a miss. First out in the top of the eight. Mike Zunino getting ready to hit. Now that catcher, Mike Zunino. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Oh, 
0-2 now. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. Sends it to first, and that quickly two away. So the Rays batting order turns over. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Lau. In there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Sends it to Walsh. Lau out on the play. And then Staying in the game on defense, Harold Ramirez. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. J.P. Fireisen takes over on the mound. He's been so good against lefties. And here comes Marsh. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And the righty deals. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Trout now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Colin Poche, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Adam warming up as well. Right-handed reliever. A little out front there as he swings through it. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. On the ground to short. Franco handles the chance. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. And now the. Joe Madden calling for a pinch hitter now. Shohei Otani. Good opportunity for him. First and second with nobody out. Pinch hitting for the Angels. Number 17. Shohei Otani. Fought off foul. Marsh at second, Trout at first with no outs. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Kicks and deals. Hard ground ball, base knock. Marsh around third. In there safely. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate.
Popped up. Margot sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. Up and here's the, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Baseman. Jared. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Two away down. The right fielder. So Never first gone. and second with two outs. Yes. And now the right fielder, Jack Mayfield. Mayfield, for the fourth time tonight. Line drive caught. Well, he was ready to make a move. I don't know if his eyes were open when he made that catch, but it is a highlight play. Great job of ending the inning. Back here at Angel Stadium, new inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Wander Franco. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And he takes a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now one gone in the ninth. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And a foul ball. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Right-hander kicks, deals. Rolled over to third. Rendon, throw to first. Now only one out remaining. Now that the first base, D-man, four. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, this team is on such a roll. 20 wins in a row. Tying the 2002 Oakland A's. You know, I came a year after that streak and was able to play with a lot of those guys. And I tell you what, there is some great energy when you're in an environment like that and you just want to keep on playing. You don't want to go home and leave the ballpark. And your outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.